how's it going everyone uh, this video is about how to like optimize your looks um, to obviously improve your chances when it comes to dating day game etc um, <clears throat> as I've said before in previous videos obviously your looks do play a part to some extent it's definitely not the be all and end all um, but they obviously do have some impact when it comes to uh, you know doing just general dating basically um, you know, obviously there's a, there's a lot of guys out there who kind of think that, oh, I'm not good looking enough or, you know, I can't do this kind of thing. I can't approach girls out in the day or, or just approach girls in general just because I'm, I'm not good looking enough. It's a load of bollocks 99% of the time. Um, it's just a limiting belief. It's just an excuse to not do it. The fact is, you know, a day game, anyone can really do it. Uh, that's, that's the beauty of it. It's, it's a learned skill that anyone can do. Um, it's not like one person can do it, another person can't do it, anyone can do it. Um, but yeah, obviously when it comes to looks, yes, they do matter to some extent. So if, say for example, you're a guy who's kind of 5 out of 10 on the look scale, you're going to really struggle obviously to get with girls who are like 9 out of 10 on the look scale. It's just the way it works, it's just human biology, uh, unfortunately. But the good news is, is that there are certain things that you can do to optimize the way you look, so to improve the, uh, the way you look. So obviously you've got the genetic side of things, which is stuff you can't control, like your face, for example, uh, you know, the proportions of your face, your height, that kind of thing. That's stuff you can't control. So there's no point even, like, even spending any amount of time worrying about that stuff completely beyond your control you can only control the stuff that you can control you only you only have one life to live there's no point worrying about pointless shit like that which you have no control over so just worry about the stuff that you do control so there, there's three things that I think that I can think of that can dramatically improve that the way you look and, and are within your control and if you're not already doing this kind of thing you should be doing it um, so the first one is losing weight I know this is a bit like maybe controversial in you know today's climate but it is really really important um, when it comes to just not not just dating just enjoying your life like you know it's just really important to be at a decent weight um, for so for someone like me I mean I don't like I don't mean to sound kind of belittling or whatever but it, it is very easy for me to kind of maintain my weight and I appreciate that that's not the case with other people because um, you, you know we're all different uh, we all kind of come from different sort of backgrounds circumstances and even you know our genetic predisposition as well has some impact um, on our you know susceptibility to being addicted to food etc etc but if you can 100% you need to try and be at a decent weight because uh, that's going to dramatically just not only improve your general quality of life, but obviously the dating as well. Um, the, th the thing is, a lot of you know losing weight comes down to ignorance as well. Um, so, like you know, a lot of people think that oh, um, if I if I need to lose weight, then I either need to go on a diet or I need to be doing X amount of exercise every day. Both of those are bullshit. That's not how it, that you can lose weight that way, but you, that's not the like the optimal way to lose weight. Losing weight primarily comes down to the kitchen, the stuff that you're putting in your mouth every single day, day after day after day after day. So it's not like a diet where it's like, uh, you know, where it's like, oh, to spend 14 days eating this and then you'll lose 30 pounds. That's bullshit. It's not about losing 30 pounds or whatever arbitrary amount in 14 days. It's about the long term, every single day of your life now till forever just consistently eating the right amount of food the right proportions of food to uh, obviously maintain a sustainable uh, amount of food so yeah having some kind of idea of the amount of calories that are in the, your foods that you're eating is kind of important like the average human males should be eating around 2,000 maybe 2,500 calories a day um, so having some sort of idea about how much that is, is kind of really important and also just kind of knowing about, you know, hidden calories as well, like in, you know, like if you drink a lot of coffee that, you know, that can add up, just, just, you know, milk, you know, like one glass of milk is like 100 calories, that thing, that really adds up as well, you know, just, just having some kind of idea in your head, you don't have to, you know, be really kind of uh, OCD about it but you, you do you should have some kind of idea of the stuff that you're consuming in your 
you know putting into your mouth consuming into your body it's really really important i think um you know for me personally i find it really easy because like you know for me if someone says to me um you know if you're better off not doing something rather than doing something then for me it's like oh great fantastic that's that's really easy so it's like don't eat this okay great i won't eat it um so yeah that that, that's kind of the mentality that I have anyway. But the key thing with food is like, like I said, you know, in previous videos, it's not about motivation. It's like, oh yeah, right now I'm super motivated to go on this diet, this 30 day diet that's gonna make me lose 20 pounds or whatever. It's a load of bollocks, because after those 30 days, then what? Are you gonna return back to normal? Are you gonna sustain that uh, diet that you've had? The right mentality is something that's sustainable, that's gonna, you know, be, now until infinity it's going to be okay these are the changes going to make in my life and i'm going to keep up these changes and i'm going to continue with them it is good if you can do um, a bit of exercise but it's by no means mandatory in order to lose weight or to be at a decent weight um, if you do hit the gym and you know you lift weights and that kind of thing obviously yeah that can improve your uh, your looks definitely but it's by no means a requirement it's definitely not something you have to do um, but yeah, and when it comes to kind of losing weight or maintaining a decent weight, you don't have to be exercising every day. You can do it that way because ultimately it comes down to the amount of calories that you consume uh, and the amount of calories that you burn. So you can, you know, do a lot of exercise in order to maintain a weight. But it's just, you know, a lot of people don't like exercising that much and, and, and rightly so. I mean, me personally, I don't like to exercise except for a little bit, a very small amount just to maintain a very basic amount of cardiovascular fitness, just so that I'm not completely unfit, basically. But it's not really, it doesn't really have much to do with maintaining, you know, half decent w uh, amount of weight. So, yeah, it really comes down to the amount of food that you're eating, the stuff you're putting in your mouth. And, and then the next thing to do is to get a decent haircut. Um, right now, I maybe sound like a bit of a hypocrite because my shitty, uh, Justin Bieber a really long hair isn't exactly uh, something you should be aspiring to but obviously with the lockdown it's kind of hard to get a haircut right now um, I'm my, my, my actually planning just to like grow it out until the end of the lockdown because eh, fuck it why not um, but like yeah generally speaking when normal life resumes you know try and just get a half decent haircut you know for me personally I've just had the same boring haircut for like the last 10 or 15 years of my life um, and, and it's, it's fine, you know, it's, it's okay, you know, that's kind of like the minimum that you should be doing, basically, just basic taking care of yourself. Um, obviously, if you're someone like me who doesn't really know much about styling and grooming, just go for something really simple, just a, you know, short back and sides, slightly longer on the top, uh, and that's it, that's, you know, bog standard. That's, that's all you need, really. If, but obviously, you can go a bit further than that if you want to. Um, and then the other thing to do to optimize your looks is to sort your fashion out so sort out the kind of clothes that you're wearing um, you don't have to be wearing really expensive clothes that's another misconception that some guys have that oh I'm not wearing Gucci or Armani or whatever you don't need to be doing that in fact it's an absolute waste of money to be wearing these kind of labels you just need to be wearing clothes that fit decently you don't have to be wearing expensive stuff like me for example i i do the vast majority of my like clothes shopping in primark which is like the lowest of the low but it looks okay because it just fits okay you know as long as it fits okay then it's fine you don't have to be spending loads of money um you know in the winter i normally just wear you know leather jackets just something that fits okay you don't have to spend a lot of money on it in fact i've spent like 30 quid on these each of those leather jackets that I have and you know some people think I've spent like a hundred quid on those things it's like no it's like it's all just a matter of perception the way that people think oh if it's a decent looking uh, leather jacket you have it must have been really expensive it's like no I got it from fucking Primark um, but yeah so you do those sorts of things you don't want to be wearing baggy clothes because that's you know one thing that some guys that I see you know when they're just starting out they haven't got a clear idea of how to kind of um, present themselves in the best way you don't want to be wearing too much baggy stuff because that test doesn't give a great impression just you know clothes that fit well that's the main thing i think
but yeah overall you know there's some things that you just can't control like the proportions of your face your height etc so don't worry about that just focus on the things that you can control and it's just basic stuff you know losing weight getting a half decent haircut getting clothes that fit you okay and that's all you need to do in terms of optimizing your looks you don't have to obsess about it because obviously with day game dating it's not so much about how you look it's more about the stuff that you say how you present yourself your charisma your social skills etc and that's the beauty of day game you can compensate for you know the, perhaps even a lack of looking good with your social ability uh, so that's what I like about it. Cheers for watching. If you'd be interested in one-to-one -one coaching with me where we'll go out in public and work on your approach at girls, or more generally with your social confidence, please visit my website ed-game.com. I came down the shame crown, checking my same sound. I'm a rain now, if y'all ain't fist split it, James Brown. I'm the poet, the rhyme was quoted, lines are loaded. Shine the code of the voter flow and showing signs of wrote it. Add an option, D, styles cost some G's, challenges, eyes made tears, let the force some D.